Hello, and welcome to the first installment of my series on Is Prenatal Sonography Safe? To begin, let's review some current published research. The article in the barrel today is titled Safety of Ultrasonography in Pregnancy, a World Health Organization Systematic Review of the Literature and Meta-Analysis. Published in 2009, this paper represents a comprehensive review of research reporting both long- and short-term outcomes after fetal ultrasound exposure. The reason this research is very important is because animal studies have shown that ultrasound can cause adverse neurological, immunological, hematological, developmental, and genetic changes to an exposed fetus. So, what about humans? Almost every pregnant woman today gets at least one ultrasound during pregnancy. Do just animals have those risks, or do humans too? Unfortunately, since the introduction of OBGYN sonography in the 1970s, there has been very little research into the side effects of ultrasound on humans. Only 41 studies were included in this comprehensive review. Now, many of you have heard the term, the dose makes the poison. You know, a little Advil and your headache goes away, but too much Advil and you can die. Dose is important. Of the 41 studies, 37 of them did not report dose. The remaining four studies that attempted to include a dose still did not accurately measure how much ultrasound was absorbed by the fetus. We do not yet have sophisticated techniques to do this, and this is a serious problem. Being unable to measure fetal sonic dose complicates matters gravely for researchers. Imagine how dangerous it would be for medicine to pass through clinical trials without having to measure a single dose response curve. That is being done with ultrasound today, and the business side of sonography did not wait for the technology to catch up before spreading like wildfire. The safety of ultrasound is mainly supported by an absence of epidemiological evidence, but at the same time, this obstacle makes it very difficult to obtain evidence in the first place. We are left with very inaccurate representations of dose, such as the number of scans. If a danger could be found among such vague data, then it would be so common, having occurred so often, that it wouldn't have been necessary to be even remotely accurate in the first place to find it. Incidentally, they did find something. Clinical trials suggest that prenatal ultrasound increased how many left-handed boys were born. Now, left-handedness is normal for many people. However, it is also linked to early brain damage because of anoxic stress during development. In spite of these critical obstacles regarding dose and the study suggesting potential brain damage, the authors conclude that ultrasound is relatively safe as long as sonographers adhere to the ALARA principle, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable. This tenet says that sonographers should keep exposure times as low as possible, on the lowest intensity possible, and for as few times as possible, and never perform a scan for vanity or non-medically indicated purpose. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. I hope that this video has raised some questions. Please feel free to leave comments. I'll reply if I can. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to help this research push forward, please read the description below. Take care, okay?